Yeah, yeah. Be saying, I was going to be saying over here. Yes, family. We are moving through the narrow streets. And what you're going to see, family, is some beautiful doors in this part of Stone Town City. Very artful. This is my big guy right here, just in all black. My son, watch your back. My son, watch out. <laughs> So again, family, when you're walking through these narrow streets, you want to stay to the right or the left, because you do have incoming traffic. You want to make sure everybody is safe, so and no injuries or accidents. And then definitely move in a unit. Get some good food. Over there? Yeah. You'll probably take this around. All right. Beautiful architecture. So, family, as you can see, this is why they call it Stone Town. All you see is this whole bunch of stone buildings. Uh, the thing that's interested, um, I know we, you know, I know local folks know where they're going, but you just get lost here. The thing that's interested, like how you, how do you not get lost? How do you not get lost? You follow the flow of exactly. the guide in the front and the guide in the back, but it's serious family. You make so much left and right. After a while, you don't know where you are. Oh, wow. This is incredible. It's so beautiful. Excuse me. So look at that door right there. Good luck on trying to break in. Yes. <laughs> okay, so please come close. So now we focus about Zanzibar doors. Mm -hmm. So in fact, the center of the city was a true set of doors with the Indian influence of Arabic influence. So if you have to recognize which is Indian influence, which is Arabic influence. So Indian influence top is around, like that one. Well, Arabic influence top is a square. So don't worry, I'll show you many doors on the way. And sometimes other Arabic doors, center, you can see Arabic inscription. So Arabic inscription always symbolize artists or the owners. And the center of there, I hope you see, with many, many decorations. So this we call glass or spike. So this is only from India. So during that time, India have an elephant war. That's why they use brass or spike against elephants, especially for protection. While in Zanzibar, we use brass only decoration because they are no elephant. That's why you can see Indian influence, Arabic influence, other door, have other methods, but remember only decoration. And you hope you see the carving. So the carving always takes all of because most of the just is handmade. That's why actually we use local tools and hand to make carving, no machine. That's why sometimes you can see other carving and something like a chair. I show you something on the way. So chain symbolizes step dealer house. And sometimes you can see other carving and something like a leaf. So symbolize spice on the So remember during the time Zanzibar was called Spice Island. That's why grow the spices like a cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, vanilla, nutmeg. I hope you see yesterday when we do spice tours. And even most of the door timber just is a teak mahogany. So teak mahogany is very expensive. That's why in Zanzibar there's no big forest. That's why there's a reservation forest. That's why most of the timber we import from mainland. Mm -hmm. okay. So any question? How old you said that door was? Sorry? How old is that? More than 200 years. Wow. This door is more than 200 years old. Yeah, more than 200 years. Mm -hmm. As you can see, family, this place is very secure. No one getting in. 
So, so this is building the is the same age. Look, look at the windows. This is. Any questions so far? It's okay. You said this is mahogany. Yeah, I'm also to go just take mahogany. Yeah. So take mahogany very expensive. So who are these foreigners? You said we're well, Arabs. Let it observe. In this <laughs> area, 200. What is it? Indian. 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 Yeah, this is the Indian influence or design. Okay. okay. That's okay. why Indian top is around. Like that one. Uh, well, Arabic top with a square. Okay. So don't no worry, I show you many doors on the way. Okay. That Portugal, the square. So the square one with an Indian, just as a different design. Gotcha. But gotcha. actual Indian top is around, Arabic top with a square. Arabic, yes. Watch our back, okay. watch our back, watch our back. Movements coming. Okay. So you said teak mahogany. Yeah, teak mahogany. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. So I show you Arabic one. Okay. okay. You ready to go? Yep. Yes, yes. Yes, brothers, yes, brothers. Amari. 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 Great and Sammy. Remember, page, page, page number 23 in the, in the tour book got language translation. Basic stuff and advanced stuff. <laughs> so. You know, people, are gonna, people are gonna say these wonderful greetings, and you know you'll get used to it after a while. Yeah. Like one of the most popular ones is gonna be a Bari and a Bari Ghani. All right. You enjoying your walk? Tell the people why you're so excited. Tell me. You're not excited? <laughs> no. It's, it's one of those things that take a while, family, for you know, us to get used to cameras and things like that. Wow, I see now the difference on this one. The same secure system. Bars on windows. And a door that the military, even the military couldn't break in. So this is the Arabic influence. It could be top with the square. We already learned about Indian influence. That's why normally Arabic top with the square one. And center of there, I hope you see, with the Arabic inscription. Mm -hmm. So Arabic inscription always symbolize artistic of the owners. And that's why over there, you see the chain? This is the chain. Mm. That's why the house during the time. So remember, around four at the end of the 19th century, that was the business center in East Africa by the Middle East. That's why, according to this activity of intermarriage, that's why people just even look like a pilau rice. You know pilau rice? Yeah. Pilau. Just half cast with mix. Arabic, Indian, African. That's why. Even Stone Town, if you want to make Sabe, that's why we have different units or architecture. That's why you can see Indian influence, Arabic influence, European influence, even Indian influence. That's why this is a chain symbolized the Villa House. So during the time, that was this center. That's why Zanzibar provides slaves, that's why. Here was the main destination for the slave in East Africa. Okay, so and make sure you understand. So you're saying the change represents slave Slave dealer house. Dealer. Yes. Auction house. Gotcha. Okay. Is this wood? Most of the wood just is a thick mahogany. So fine. thick mahogany is very expensive. Okay. And this we call brass. Well, and this is just standard test you. of time. Brass. It's only decoration. Okay. How old is this? This one. More than 200 years. Wow. Yeah, and this was the yes. But they were not here at the same time, right? The Indians and the Arabs. Who was here for? Currently, we make the door. That's the only design. They were made here. All the design, yeah, currently. Yeah, we make it. Tanzania. Yeah, Tanzania, yeah. yeah. That's why you can see so you the door it. like that. You see it? This is new one. Mm. So, that's why this is Arabic influence. And this is what, like 10, 20 years? Yeah, influence. New job. But is this one? All the design. Oh, okay. All the designs are from yeah. Tanzania. From, from okay. Zanzibar. What's inside of them? Just the residential house, like that one. Oh. That's the auction. Where the buying the, 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 the slaves. Right? There's nothing this is the auction of the slaves. 
So what's in there currently now? Sorry? We're trying to find out what's, what's, what's behind these house? doors. Are oh, people oh, living in there? Like this is a house now. Oh, it's a house. house. All these are all residential yeah. houses. So people yes, live here? Yeah. People, yeah. people yeah. live in there. Yeah. They modify it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the modification. I changed it because it's a smoking house. They let people smoke. So it's somewhere around here that I was going to say. Oh. Thank God. I'm trying to stay on the beach. Yeah. Uh, we just do one day to do the tour stuff and that beach for two days. Yeah. 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 Oh, Y'all okay. get in trouble if I'm not? <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> hey, just let me know. I'm responsible for me. Don't be getting my guy in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh yes, uh, you know that though. Just like uh, yeah, some of these hotels that uh, they modify jails, prisons, modify different things. It's just the the age of renovation. We just. This is like some ancient cameras, right? Like 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 that was made like when. All right, watch your back, watch your back, vehicle coming. Serious family, very busy, busy area, and we just have to watch out. So this is Hamam, Hamam the bar. So this is the largest actual bar in Zanzibar, maybe around 80 centuries. And that means what, like a church? I don't know. Yes. 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 Okay. Auction house. Auction house and now public baths, okay? Okay. I was trying to move fast <laughs> We got the big jackfruits there. We saw that yesterday on the, the, the Spice Farm tour. One of those doors, and that's what's inside. Regular house, son. What's your back, son? Let me know if you want to suck a jersey or you say anything you want, okay? Just come to see you. Pole, pole, pole. I'm gonna. We're gonna remix a song like that. I got some of these beautiful magnets, I always recommend. How much are they? This one dollars, three dollars. How many for two? Oh, okay. Listen, how many pieces of things? Oh, I want one of those. Yeah, you know? I have some Look, for Hey, 
Labda wende ukongoze mkuu hapo hebu. Now, honestly, fam, I have no idea how you prevent yourself from getting lost around here, other than rolling with your guides. You can get lost, but what happens is the locals, they'll, they'll remember your face, and they'll know where you're staying, and they'll say, no, go the other way. So it help you out if you get lost. Yeah, I remember, I remember two people got, it was raining, and, and some people got split. Yeah, it was, it was wild. But like you mentioned, the locals told them that your group of people are that way. Mm -hmm. Good exercise, good day family, beautiful day to get a nice exercise. Um. We are walking, enjoying our beautiful walking tour of Zanzibar Stone Town family. And it is this beautiful walk. Always be prepared and get your walking shoes ready. I can't hear you. And enjoy this journey of a lifetime family. It is all good, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. So the journey for a lifetime continues. Link, connect with us. And let's show you some of this incredible experience across Africa. Senegal, the Gambia, Ghana, and right where we are right now, Tanzania, which includes Zanzibar Island.